Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Thursday, September the 3rd. It's the 14th week after Pentecost and week two in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 37, verse 1 to 17, and 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 1 to 13. And please join me in singing the fourth verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. Our God is good, our God is kind, whose grace is great and mercy sure, and the whole race of humankind. God's truth from O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Do not fret because of the wicked, and do not envy the workers of iniquity. Alleluia. Psalm 37. Then please recite it with me. Alleluia, do not fret because of the wicked. Do not envy the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down and wither like the grass of the field. Trust in God and do good, and you will dwell in the land and be fed. Delight yourself in the Most High, and God shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit yourself to the Most High. Trust and God shall act. God shall bring forth your righteousness like the light and your judgment like the noonday sun. Rest in the Most High and wait patiently. Fret not when the wicked prosper, who plot to bring down the needy and the poor. Cease your anger and forsake your rage. Do not fret, for it leads to evil. For the wicked shall perish, but those that wait on the Most High shall inherit the earth. For soon the wicked shall have gone, you cannot see their homes, because they are no more. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and enjoy abundance of peace. The wicked plot against the just, and gnash on them with their teeth. The Most High shall laugh at the wicked, for God sees that their day is coming. The wicked have drawn their sword, and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and the needy, and to slay the upright. But their swords shall pierce their own hearts, and their bows shall be broken. What little the righteous have is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Most High upholds the righteous. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Do not fret because of the wicked. Do not envy the workers of iniquity. Alleluia. A lesson from the first book of Kings, chapter 11, beginning at verse 1. Now King Solomon loved many foreign women, along with the daughter of Pharaoh, Moabite, Ammonite, Edomite, Sidian and Hittite women, from the nations concerning which the Most High had said to the Israelites, You shall not enter into marriage with them, neither shall you, neither shall they with you, for they will surely incline your heart to follow their gods. Solomon clung to these in love. Among his wives were seven hundred princesses and three hundred concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. For when Solomon was old, his wives turned away his heart after other gods. And his heart was not true to Yahweh, his God, as was the heart of his father, David. For Solomon followed Astarte, the goddess of the Sidians, and Milcom, the abomination, the abomination of the Ammonites. 
So Solomon did what was evil in the sight of Yahweh and did not completely follow the Most High, as his father David had done. And then Solomon built a high place for Chemosh, the abomination of Moab, and for Molech, the abomination of the Ammonites, <clears throat> on the mountain east of Jerusalem. And he did the same for all his foreign wives, who offered incense and sacrificed to their gods. And then the Most High was angry with Solomon, <clears throat> because his heart had turned away, and who had appeared had turned away from the Most High, the God of Israel, who had appeared to him twice, and commanded him concerning this matter, that he should not follow other gods. But he did not observe what Yahweh commanded. Therefore the Most High said to Solomon, Since this has been your mind, and you have not kept my covenant and my statutes that I commanded you, I will surely tear the kingdom from you and give it to your servant. Yet for the sake of your father David, I will not do it in your lifetime. I will tear it out of the hand of your son. I will not, however, tear away the entire kingdom. I will give one tribe to your son for the sake of my servant David, and for the sake of Jerusalem, which I have chosen. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world. And please respond, hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Don and Tom and Richard and Bill and Joe, and for all of our church leaders, and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation, and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barack and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire, and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. We pray. Hear us, tender God, together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Lead us in your paths, O God, and grant that we may ever find our delight in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.